Hi everyone! Welcome to this morning routine Pilates mat workout. In this class, you're gonna learn the best exercise you should do every morning, quick and easy. So, without any further ado, let's get started! So you want to go and sit on your seat bones and nice and tall. We're going to do a little C curve on the lower back and slowly roll back down into the mat. Awesome. Readjust yourself here and we're going to do the imprint position. Well done. From here, from the imprint, you press your heels into the mat and you start, you contract your glutes to deepen the imprint and you start taking from your tailbone, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up like this, where you take your lower back and your mid back out of the mat. And now from here, you're gonna take a deep breath in. And you exhale and you're going to slowly lower vertebra by vertebra down into the mat. All the way back to that imprint position again and releasing back to the neutral. Okay? Let's do it again. Inhale to prepare. Contracting the abs imprinting the lower back into the mat, contracting glutes, pressing, heel, pressing heels against the mat, lifting from the tailbone, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up in here. Inhale on the top, exhale, roll back down, making sure that you feel each vertebra Touch the mat one at a time. Hello, my beautiful spine. <laughs> and again, here we go. So you're getting to know your body, right? You're giving it attention, and that's very, very important and healthy. And your body will definitely pay you back for that attention. So coming all the way up as you can without arching. You see how I have my pubic bone and um, ASIS here. I'm kind of aligned, right? It's in a little angle because we're doing uh, basically inclined this way. So now from here, inhale. And try to not look into the camera. You may want to watch this video first. And then just play it listening to me without looking at it. Again, because you do not want to change the alignment here on your cervical spine. And so you come all the way down back into the neutral. And you're going to do two more of this. So exhale. And from here you can breathe naturally, right? Because... It depends how slow you go. Don't worry too much about it. Just use the breath to assist you. I will try now to inhale on the top. And exhale, roll back down slowly. Very, very important to give that attention to your vertebra. Spine. Okay, to your vertebra. Back into the neutral. By the way, guys, guys, <laughs> this exercise, inhale here, hold on. Exhale, imprint. And taking off. As I was saying, this exercise here is amazing for scoliosis as well. Okay? So right here into the in the top at the top. Inhale and exhale, rowing back down into the mat, ver articulating vertebra by vertebra. Yes. Whew, you made it. Well done. 
another hug to yourself because you made it. From here, we're gonna go and stretch a little bit our necks. You can actually do this one before anything else, but don't push too hard. You look to one side and center, other side and center. Again, one side and center, other side and center. Let's stretch your shoulder joints. Out and down. Remember, many of you may not even have all this flexibility on the shoulder, so you don't need to lower the arms too low. One more time this way. Feel free to do more repetitions if you have time of these stretches. I am just trying to make this video quick tutorial for you but you should definitely do at least as many as i'm doing here to go on on your day preventing injuries and feeling healthy all right here we go bringing me in right there okay guys we're doing really good we're gonna do a little bit of a rotation here by lower one leg down and again you're stretching a little bit your inner thigh here and then you bring the other leg in like this so you're rotating spine here now you bring this leg up and the other leg comes here to meet then you want to lower the other leg down. Why I'm breaking down this way? Yeah, there, there are times that you can do both legs together because it's early in the morning, right? And you want to be gentle. You don't want to put that much of um, strain on your back so early out of nowhere, right? Okay. At this time, we're going to do the same movement one leg first. So you're also stretching the inner thigh. So you get two benefits with this one. And then here. And once both legs are together, then you can look to the other side. Now you bring your face looking up again. Bring this knee up. Then the other one. Then we lower the other leg and bring the other knee to meet. And then you look to the other side. Back to the center, bringing this leg up. And the other one, it just feels so good. You can totally see how your body rewards you just by doing these minimal movements. Now, one thing you may want to do, if you, especially if you work with computers and all that, you can start stretching your wrists by making circles like this. Eight in each direction. And now eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. How about we extend both legs up and we can um, actually bend the knee again and extend up again. So now slowly we're just gently stretching our hamstrings, right? Very gentle stretch, right? Again, guys, I want to remind you, some of you are not that flexible that you can extend like this so we're gonna change this a little bit we're gonna put the feet on the mat then you're gonna bring one knee in and let's say you're not that flexible to bring the leg here and extend then you lower the leg but make sure that the knee is straight otherwise you are not really stretching are you no and you're not gonna gain the flexibility that you need so doesn't matter where the leg is, just make sure that knee is straight. And now we're gonna start flexing in point one, flex, 
point two flex, point three flex in point four. Now we're gonna not only flex but we're gonna circle one, two, three, and four. Now let's reverse four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bending the knee, bring legs together. Now this one, right, same, or if you cannot keep the leg straight right here, you do this entire exercise in an angle where your knee is straight, okay? All right, so flex, ooh, and points. I am so not flexible in the morning. Ow, Chew. it hurts, right, guys? I hear you. Mm. Three, but it's so good after all. And... Four. Nice. So now, flex in circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's reverse. did four and four on the other leg. Is that right? Oops, if so, I'm sorry. I know just early in the morning here. All right, bring the knees in. Just make sure to do even both sides. All right, guys, so since we did this, I would really recommend you, if you have a little more time, to eat. this could be already good for you to go. It's the minimum you should do every day. But if you have a little more time, let's keep going by doing roll-ups. They're really good after all these little stretches. So we exhale, contract the abs, come up, and reach forward. Inhale back. Good. Again, exhale, up, reach forward. Inhale back two. Exhale up, reach forward, inhale back, three, exhale up, reach. I have to move a little, sorry, reach forward, inhale back, four, exhale up, reach forward, and again, guys, remember if you're not, if you're in the, if you're beginners, you may want to do this by keeping the knees bent, right? Awesome. So from here, guys, let's try one more exercise in case you have time here. Okay, that will be it. We're gonna roll back down to this spot, and you're going to do the leg circles. So. Feel free to keep one knee bent if you don't have enough control of your pelvis here. Otherwise, extend the other leg all the way out. So you're gonna bring the leg out to the side, down and up. So they're not really circles. I want you guys to do like a half circle right here because here I want you to bring back up through the center. As you see, I'm doing the most advanced movement here by making the circles really large. But again, if you're a beginner, you may want to just do a small circle like this, okay? So let's do just one more. So it's going to be four in each direction. And now reverse. Down. Out. And up. Down. Out and two. Down. Out and three. Last one. Down. Out and four. Very important to keep the pelvis stable during all this time. Inhale, bring the other knee in. Exhale, switch legs. So again, guys, keep the circle small if you're a beginner. 
and keep the other knee bent if you're not being able to control the pelvic placement to be stable without going dancing salsa. It's no salsa dancing. I love salsa. Don't take me wrong, but not in this exercise, okay? Here we go. Up, down, and one. Up, down, and two. Up, down, and three. Up, see how I don't move here, right? And four, reverse. Four, out, and one. Who? Down, and two, yes. Down, out, and three, last one. Down, out, and four. Bringing me in, the other knee in. Huge hug on yourself. And I'm going to need to adjust my pants here. <laughs> and from here, we're going to roll up. And, ooh, my hair must be a super mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, guys, this is the end of our session today. I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.